Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, in this video, we will balance the following equation in which we have COSO4 that is copper sulphate and Na3PO4 that is trisodium phosphate on the reactant side and on the product side we have CO3PO4 twice that is copper 2 phosphate and Na2SO4 that is sodium sulphate. And to balance this equation, we are going to look at the total number of atoms on both reactant and product side. We have one copper atom on the reactant side. Next is SO4 that is sulphate ion that stays together on both sides of equation. So we will count it as one. This is a trick that can be used in double displacement reactions where we have polyatomic ions. Next we have three sodium and one phosphate ion. Let us look on the product side. On the product side we have three copper, one sulphate, two sodium and two phosphate ions. We have 3 copper on product side and only 1 on the reactant side. So we will multiply it by 3. This makes 3 sulphate ion on reactant side and there is only 1 on the product side. So we will multiply it by 3. Now this gives us 6 sodium on the product side while on the reactant side we only have 3. So what we will do is we will multiply it by 2. This in turn gives us 2 phosphate ion on the reactant side and we already have 2 phosphate ion on the product side. Now if you see the equation and tally the atoms you will observe that our reaction is balanced. I hope this video cleared your concept regarding balancing the equation. For more such videos make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.